Hello guys, Dave here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. So in today's video, um, let's step back a couple of days where I was mooching around the Euclid galaxy, uh, came across this system, noted there was two alien multi-tools in this system uh, that I could load into an S-Class cabinet. Found the S-Class cabinet yesterday in yesterday's live stream which was quite cool thanks for everybody that showed up yesterday it was really cool I had a great time um this being a corvax system i then went to look at the atlantid multi-tools in the system and found the s-class cabinet for that as well also found the s-class exotic so this is a not bad little system actually so uh let's get cracking on the video the um first multi-tool that we'll be looking at is this one here this is the voltage injector mark 9 it's got uh, two supercharged slots open it's got this really nice lime green crystal it's what they call a lipstick crystal sticking out the front of it and uh, teeth going down the top red leathery skin s-class of course uh, ignore the price because I'm in peaceful mode. 30 slots, stacks of tech installed, uh, base damage of 1812, scanner range of 381. So that's the first multi tool, and uh, yeah, really like that. Nice, nice multi tool that is. So we'll stick to this cabinet. Um, to get this multi tool, you're going to need to put the following portal address into your local portal in the Euclid galaxy turn off multiplayer before stick it jumping through the portal stick this in and come to my communication station um, which is on the portal planet uh, this inhabited outpost uh, if you can't see the communication station I'm at plus 84.32 plus 42.86 I am on the portal planet of Kurt Akeri when you get here Exit your ship, reload your restore point, and that multi-tool should load into the cabinet. Now, if that's not quite for you, I'm going to head off to another planet in this system called Coda. Now, if you go to that planet, exit your ship, reload, and come back to this inhabited outpost, you'll see exactly what um, multi-tool is going to be in the cabinet. I'm going to do that right now, so as if by magic, this video is going to cut and the next multi-tool will be in the cabinet. Okay, so I've just been off to Coda, which is at like a, a, a lifeless planet. Uh, I've exited my ship and reloaded my restore point. Uh, got back in my ship, come back down here, and this is the second multi-tool. It is the overload of Fafik Sovo 10 S-Class. It's slightly different to the other multi-tool, so this has got a gray skin, no crystal at the front, but it does have a crystal magazine down the bottom. Uh, same layout for the supercharged slots. Uh, 30 slots. Base damage of 1812. Base scanner range of 381. So there's the second multi-tool. Now, if you don't want to come through the portal um, using the portal address and then have to scoot back to that planet, then all you have to do, guys, is replace the first glyph, which is a dyno, and uh, replace it with a balloon that will take you through to the lifeless planet when you get through there get in your ship get back out again reload your restore point and then come down here come grab the multi-tool so there you go two awesome s-class alien multi-tools for you take your choice of one of those now while i was here um being a corvac system i thought i would um check out the atlantid multi-tools I found the S-Class cabinet. I'm going to shoot off to the planet and uh, I'll catch you there. All right then, guys. So I am on the planet of Ico, which is I-K-K-O 93U2. I am at plus 3.24 minus 16.76. Now, I can't stick two comm stations down in a system, so I have stuck a base computer down here, and it says S-Class Atlantid MT. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. And over here, 
we have the uh, interface. Now we're going to inspect the runic technology. And there we go. That, so awesome uh, supercharged slots. We've got two together there, one there. Uh, base damage potential, 3,500. Uh, scanner range, 290. Of course, S-Class. This is my favorite multi-tool. This is the Nano Tuner. This is from... This is if you reload on the space station. Now, best thing I can do, if I put a slideshow up now of... I've taken a picture of all the multi-tools. I'll put a slideshow up now when I'm editing this. And uh, I'll have a picture of the multi-tool and the planet you can go to to exit a ship, reload, and come back down to this point. I think that's the best way of doing it. So we do that. There's seven multi-tools in total. This is my favorite, and as I said, you get this by going to either the space station or calling in your freighter and saving reload there. Uh, also, guys, um, quickly bung on the screen now. While I was in space, we did check out the exotic. It is this white twin um, exotic without a dorsal fin. Not my favourite, but if you want the exotic, probably go down to a trade post. You'll be able to pick it up down there. It'll eventually land. Didn't see it in the space station. Didn't check, to be honest with you. So... In this system, you should be able to get the two alien multi-tools. All you got to do is go through the portal. I'll put the portal address on the screen again, just in case you didn't get it the first time and you don't want really to rewind to the uh, video. Put this on the screen. That'll take you to the inhabited outpost. Exit your ship. Reload your save. That will load the, multi the alien multi-tool with the crystal in the front into that cabinet. Not after that one. Head off to Coda. Exit your ship. Reload your auto, uh, your restore point. Come back down to the inhabited outpost. The alien multi-tool with the crest, red crystal will be there. If you want one of these Atlantid multi-tools, then head off to ICO 93 U2 and uh, head to this uh, monolith. My base is there. Unfortunately, no uh, communication station. And because I put a base there, you won't be able to put a communication station. You can put one within 300 if you want to. That would really help out, guys. So, uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you do, smash the like button. That would be awesome. I'll do more stuff like this if you want. And uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Tick the bell. Uh, be going live again soon. So if you want to catch me live, uh, you can do. And as always, the thermal protection is falling. And also, it's been a pleasure. And I shall see you in the next video. So take it easy. And I'll see you soon.